Hi everyone, sorry for the hiatus. It's been really busy at the hospital with another COVID surge. And um, both of my boys have also been taking turns getting sick. So I haven't had a chance to do a video in a while. But today I'm going to be reviewing nose aspirators since winter is coming. Now, first, if the mucus in their nose is exceptionally thick or I'm trying to suck out actual boogers, I always use these uh, saline uh, drops first to loosen it up. These ampules are actually saline nebulizer solutions, but you don't need a prescription for it. You can get a box of a uh, hundred for like uh, 20 bucks at Walmart. Um, you detach it like this, twist this end off, and then uh, squeeze a few droplets in each nostril and really let it stew in there for a few seconds. That loosens up the stubborn mucus. The products we'll be reviewing today uh, are Frida, both by traditional method and when connected to a breast pump, a suction bulb that you get when you come home from the hospital with baby, a small portable electric nasal aspirator, and this big, large uh, Nozibu electric aspirator. Before I start, I'm not paid by any of these companies, so I'm just reviewing these products based on my experience uh, sucking out snot. So let's start with the Frida. Uh, this is the most commonly recommended item for new moms on a registry list. It retails for about $10. You suck with your mouth on this end and place this here in the baby's nostrils. And there is a filter here that prevents the mucus from getting to your mouth because that would be disgusting. Now for this to work, you need the combination of strong lungs, good coordination, and a cooperative baby, okay? Uh, I don't know if anyone out there has a cooperative baby, uh, but for me, I also have terrible lungs. Um, not in a medical sense, but I don't have the power to suck in enough to generate adequate power for this to work, okay? Uh, I also get tired after sucking like three, four times, which gets to a hack, which is using your breast pump. Now I have the S2, so I don't know how this works on other pumps. Uh, and also, uh, this is totally not going to be recommended by your breast pump company, okay? Because even though there is a filter here, I don't know how sanitary this really is going to be. Now I have two of these because I had one remaining, um, one left over from my first pregnancy. So I have one that functions as a pump and the other as a backup just in case I need it as a snap machine, okay? But what you can do is um, if you need an extra level of protection, what you can do is, so you unhook the red mouthpiece over here and you can hook it up to your bag flow protector, okay? So then you have a filter here and you have a filter here. The problem with this though, because of how long the tubing is, you are really increasing resistance in the system. So that's gonna decrease your suction pressure. But let's give it a try. So I have it on expression mode and let's crank it up to 12, which is the max. Not bad, right? All right, let's turn it back down and then uh, let's hook it up directly. So I'll hook this part and then hook up the Frida directly to the pump and let's turn it on again. See how that suction is much stronger? Okay, turn it on. So the suction is better, but I will say, see how limited the tubing is? So you need to get your baby's head really close to this, okay? And you run into the problem of just yanking it off if you have a wiggly baby. Um, cleaning is pretty straightforward because it comes with these replacement um, filters that you can just change out. And that is the freedom. Now we're going to move on to the suction bulb. Uh, which I don't use, which is why it's still in its packaging from the hospital. These retail for about a dollar on Amazon. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You squeeze in here 
and then you put this at the baby's nose and you release, okay? I don't like these because um, one, it takes practice to get really good at this, and two, I don't like the lack of visibility. For me, I'm a visual person, and I really love to see that's not come out and how much is out and all that grossness, okay? I can't see that in here, so I don't like it. Uh, it's also uh, harder to clean. It's probably the most difficult product to clean, um, but for the price of a dollar, you can probably just get a pack of them and use one for each bout of sickness. Next, we're gonna move on to the small electric nasal aspirator. I don't know what brand this is, but most of these retail for about $40 on Amazon. Okay, this manufacturer says that it has a suctioning pressure up to 65 kilopascals. For comparison, the S2 has a suction up to 250 millimeters of mercury. When you do the conversion of kilopascal to millimeters of mercury, uh, the manufacturer is essentially estimating that this will have double the suction, almost double the suction of the S2, okay? That's their claim. So you turn this on and it's three levels. This is one, two, three. Okay. It, this one also comes with music. I'm going to turn that off because it's super annoying and also colors. For me, I think the music and the color are totally excessive because babies are not dumb, right? Like if they see this at their nose, they're not going to care that there's music and color coming out. They'll still be fighting you to the death, okay? So this adapter that's already on here is the infant adapter. And this works pretty well for stubborn boogers. Um, but what I don't like about this whole system is that it's pretty bulky. I have a size five and a half hand. Um, and what I do is hold down the baby's head like this with my left hand and then hold this like a pen or pencil in my right hand and use this lateral aspect of my hand to, to stabilize um, and maneuver. But because of how bulky this is, I don't have great stability uh, to always maneuver it um, accurately, okay? So I, I do wish this was a little bit skinnier. The other issue is, um, so you don't have the, the problem with the, with the infant um, adapter because look at how stiff it is, right? But there are these two other suction cups that come in the package that are for deeper suction or for older kids. And I haven't used this yet, um, and I'm not going to because I already noticed this problem. So let me turn this on. So, see how the tip collapses? So if it collapses like that, I know it's already not gonna work to suck out the boogers, okay? So um, I don't plan to use these adapters. So that's the small electrical nasal aspirator. And finally, we arrive at this Nozabu electric aspirator. Uh, this is gonna cost about $155 on Amazon. The manufacturer says that it has a flow up to 66 liters per minute. So I'm not able to convert that into the units for comparison with Spectra or the small portable one because they're different units. Um, but this machine is like if you had a Spectra and Frida, but with continuous suction instead of intermittent suction, okay? And it's pretty straightforward. After the tubing is connected and this little aspirator part is connected, you just press and hold. Minimum suction, maximum. I'm not gonna lie, this sound is super scary, okay? But uh, seriously, it doesn't matter what sound or anything. Uh, the minute anything is near my baby's nose, it doesn't matter, right? They're gonna fight you. So uh, the assembly is pretty straightforward and cleaning is also straightforward. You just 
disconnect this part, uh, everything else disassembles, and then uh, you clean it up, okay? Now, which one do I use? Um, so I like this one the best, but I also keep this one, the little electric nasal aspirator around. And the reason I do that is this has to be plugged in to a wall, okay? So, um, versus this is portable. Um, this is not convenient running around my house holding this and then finding an outlet to plug in uh, with my toddler running around, okay? Uh, so sometimes I can chase with this one, but I think overall with a baby who's not like crawling or walking yet, this is, this is pretty good, okay? Um, so that's the end of my video. Uh, if you liked it or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Uh, please also, you know, feel free to comment below on what methods you've tried or other hacks that you think uh, can be helpful to other moms. Thanks for watching.